uh, if you are not yet using multi-section documents in Word, then don't worry about retaining all of the details of what I'm showing you here, but pay attention because it'll give you ideas about what you're able to do, and when situations come up in the future, you'll be able to apply, to apply it. This is an environmental report which consists of multiple chapters and it has a lot of automation features built into it that I'm going to point out to you. Uh, the table of contents is going to be automate, automatically generated for me. It's, got, it's divided into chapters here and in the Q&A table I ask the form user which chapters should be included in the finished document so each chapter is optional. And within the chapters, find chap here's the first one. Within the chapters, I have references to exhibits. Chapter one refers to both exhibit A and exhibit B. Chapter, chapter two has a reference to exhibit B. Some chapters don't have references to any exhibits at all. And then down at the end of the document, skip down to the exhibits here. Here's exhibit A. The exhibits themselves use an automatic paragraph number so that even if some exhibits are removed, the numbering will uh, renumber itself. So they'll always be sequentially A, B, C, even if some exhibits get removed. And of course, the references to those exhibits up above in the chapters need to be updated as well. So, the new feature I'm going to point out here is conditional sections. The only way to get exhibits to renumber starting with page number one for each exhibit in Word is to add section breaks via this section break next page button. And that's what I used to create this document so that each exhibit starts at page one. To remove an entire section, we have a new code in the form tool, which is the conditional section. And to use a conditional section, put your cursor anywhere in a section. Don't select any text, just anywhere in the selection, and click condition. Make this whole section conditional? Yes. And when do I want exhibit A removed? Uh, exhibit A is the exhibit about underground tanks, so I want it to be removed when none of these are chosen. I want it removed when the underground tanks chapter is not chosen. Done. Exhibit B I want removed when, hold on, condition. I want uh, Exhibit B removed when neither the underground tanks nor the wetland status chapters are chosen because those are the two chapters that refer to Exhibit B. And I would add uh, more conditional sections for C and D and so forth. Then when the form user comes along to use this form, let's suppose this does include the underground tanks section but not the wetland section. We've got endangered species and traffic here. These are the three chapters that should be included in this report. I'll click the fill button. And the sections or exhibits that do not apply have been flagged for removal. Again, I see the same message we saw before with the conditional rows that tells me when the document is finalized, click Petrify to remove them. I'll click OK. We can see right now that some exhibits, let's find one, Exhibit B, Exhibit A. Oh, I was wrong. I need to go without that before it's going to get removed. I'll turn off underground tanks and fill again. And now I should get at least one or two exhibits that are marked for removal. There we go. Exhibit B has been marked for removal. And when I petrify this document, it will actually get removed. 
there's D, there's C, and that's it. Exhibits A and B have been removed. The numbering of the exhibits is going to, because these use words uh, numbering fields, the numbering is going to be updated as soon as I save or print this document, or I can cheat just by selecting all text and pressing F9, which forces it to update right now. So it has renumbered what used to be exhibit C as exhibit A, and it has built my table of contents for me, showing only the, the chapters which actually got used in the report and my references to exhibits that appear within the chapters. Let me find one. Nope, oh, I don't have any. I deleted those, section, those chapters. But any references to exhibits that appear within the chapters now refer to the proper exhibit letter because all the exhibits have been re-lettered. Re so that's the most complicated thing we're going to talk about today, conditional sections. It doesn't apply to everyone, but uh, keep that in the back of your mind for complex documents that might arise for you in the future.